Philadelphia Graveyard and History. Today we are at Gettysburg National Cemetery in beautiful Gettysburg, Adams County, Pennsylvania. After the Battle of Gettysburg and with so many dead soldiers buried in shallow graves on the battlefield where they fell, a new National Soldiers Cemetery was needed to bury all the Union dead and dying. Today, the Gettysburg National Cemetery contains 3,500 soldiers from the battle, including 979 unknown and on 17 acres. The Gettysburg Cemetery is located between Baltimore Steinwehr and Taney Town Roads. The cemetery also contains soldiers from the Spanish-American War, World War I, World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. Altogether, the cemetery includes over 6,000 internments. The National Cemetery also includes many memorials and monuments. It was consecrated and dedicated on November 19, 1863. President Lincoln attended the ceremony and gave a few brief remarks, lasting two and a half minutes. Order Everett Everett, the 17th governor of Massachusetts, spoke for over two hours before Lincoln. After Lincoln concluded, Everett said to the president, I should be glad if I could have flattered myself that I came as near to the central idea of the occasion in two hours as you did in two minutes. The monument here is the Gettysburg Address Monument. President Lincoln did not think his speech was a success, actually. He thought the opposite. If only he could see how popular it is today. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the pro proposition that all men are created equal. We are now engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place for those who gave their lives that that nation might live. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this. But in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot hollow this ground. The brave men living and dead who struggled here have consecrated it far beyond our poor power to add or detract. The world will little note nor long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. It is for us, the living, rather to be dedicated here to the unfinished work which who fought here have thus far so nobly advanced. It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us. That from these honored dead, we take increased devotion to the cause for which they gave the last full measure of devotion. That we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain. That this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom and that government of the people, by the people, and for the people shall not perish from the earth.
And now we will go see a few graves from within the National Cemetery here at Gettysburg. Tune in to the end for a surprise grave. And please like, subscribe, and comment. You can also hit me up on Patreon. Link will be in the description. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of the video. We are here in the Ohio section of the National Cemetery visiting Private George Nixon, born 1821, Washington County, PA, died July 10th, 1863, here in Gettysburg during the battle. He was between the ages of 41 and 42. He's buried here in the Ohio section. Row C, grave four, a member of Company B, 73rd. Ohio Infantry. He was wounded on July 2nd, 1863. Private Richard Enderlin pulled George Nixon to safety back to Union lines while under fire. Enderlin was awarded the Medal of Honor 34 years later. Private Nixon was mortally wounded and died at the 11th Corps Hospital on July 10th, 1863. At the age of 41 or 42, Private Nixon had a wife and seven children back home in Ohio. His great-grandson, Richard Milhouse Nixon, would become the 37th President of the United States. And the President stood on the spot I am now standing when he visited the grave of his great-grandfather when he was Vice President of the United States under Dwight D. Eisenhower. He would come and visit Eisenhower at his summer home here in Gettysburg. Now we're in the New York section visiting Sergeant Amos Hummelston. Born March 26, 1830, Osgo, Tioga County, New York. Died July 1, 1863, here in Gettysburg, PA, age 33. He's buried here at Gettysburg National Cemetery. New York plot, row B, grave 14, Sergeant Hummelston, Company C, 154th New York Infantry, Hummelston's body was found with no ID, only a photograph of three small children clutched in his hand, newspapers in the north printed the story and the picture in hopes that someone would know the children. The soldier's widow saw the picture of her children in the paper and knew her husband was dead. 
Hummelston's son, Franklin's youngest son, John, the grandson of Amos, was a bugler who died in France during World War I and is buried in the American Cemetery in Lorraine, France. And there is a monument to Hummelston at the spot he found, was found, pictured here. We are now in the main section, visiting Sergeant William S. Jordan, born in Bangor, Penobscot County, Maine, January 25th, 1841. He died July 24th, 1863, here in Gettysburg, age 22. Buried here at Gettysburg National Cemetery, main plot, row C, grave 13. Sergeant, Company G, 20th Maine Infantry. Sergeant Jordan was mortally wounded during the main, 20th Maine's defense of Little Round Top, which included Lieutenant Chamberlain's bayonet charge on Little Round Top. We are here in the New Jersey section visiting Private George W. Adams, born eight, in 1842 in Beverly. Burlington County, New Jersey. He died on July 3rd, 1863, here in Gettysburg during the battle, age 20 to 21. And his grave is here in the New Jersey section, row A, grave 14. Private Company F, 12th New Jersey Infantry. He saw combat at Chancellorsville, Virginia and Gettysburg. His unit was sent to capture the Bliss Farm on July 3rd. They succeeded in their mission, but Private Adams fell before he knew of the success of the mission. We are now in the Wisconsin section, visiting Private James C. Parent, Company I, 2nd Wisconsin, part of the Iron Brigade. He died on August 19, 1863, at age 28 or 29. Birthday is not known. He's buried here in the Wisconsin plot. Row C, grave 18. He was wounded in the arm and should have survived the battle. But in the hospital, he was given poison accidentally and died. And now, there's surprise ending that I offered at the beginning of the video. This is Private Henry D. Little, born September 26, 1848, Waynesboro, Pennsylvania. Died November 26, 1914, Hampton City, Virginia. And he is buried here, Gettysburg National Cemetery, Section 8, Grave 23, First Maryland Calvary, signed up at the age of 16 and a half, without parental consent.
and he lived, survived the battle, became a Gettysburg battlefield tour guide, and he is my first cousin three times removed. Thank you for your service, cousin, and to all the veterans who served our country and fell in many cases for it. I would like to apologize for the lawnmower noise in the background, but also thank him for the job he's doing at keeping the cemetery beautiful and that concludes this video from Gettysburg National Cemetery thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video please like subscribe to the channel and continue to enjoy the content and watch out for the next video from Gettysburg coming soon. Have a great day.